So you know what, you've probably watched a couple of the videos and you can see I'm in the same top, so it's the same night. I forgot my collar down, right? Jenny will always say to me, oh, your collar's sticking up, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and yeah, I'm enjoying myself down here. So I thought, you know, why not talk about another beer and another German beer and one that really in the Oktoberfest uh, competition, well, not competition, um, this was the one out of the, out, out of the big six that came last um, I'm, I've still not even spoke about which one I'm going to put first. All the six are there, um, but the, but the, 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 I'm a Leicester boy, and I keep and, and I spoke to Murray at uh, the office, and he says Spartan because S P A is spa. You go to the spa, but it's Spartan, Spartan, whatever. So, but anyway, I have got here a Spartan Spatten, right? So I'm going to crack this open, I'm going to put it into a glass and I'm going to find out what it is and I'm going to drink it and I'm going to talk about it. So, because I'm enjoying tonight. It's one of those nights where I'm doing a few videos and, um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself. It's a Tuesday night, actually. <laughs> So anyway, I'm robbing this glass from William Brothers because I'm literally like used most of my glasses and I'm going to get this beer into this glass. So we'll soon find out what it is. It's looking quite carbonated. Look at them balls chasing up that glass. Now, I don't, oh, I don't think this has got, is it got a widget? Has this got a widget underneath it? Has it got a nucleation point? Oh, it has, it has, it has. Now, I don't like to, I really do not like to use glasses with widgets in. I always think, oh, I always think that the reason that, the reason that like a beer, I mean, tell me, tell me I'm wrong, but the reason that a beer asks for a widget is because it's not got enough of its own stuff going on about it. It needs to just constantly, like, be car constantly be the carbonation be breaking out constantly, 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 constantly. So what the nucleation point does is it's a place to attract all the CO two bubbles to get them to group together to be basically buoyant enough to raise to the top. So that will constantly be activating the CO2 in that beer. Whereas I would prefer to crash the beer in the glass, get the CO2 to be activated, to then go up to the head, and then all the bubbles stop because it's calmed down. The, the CO2 bubbles won't be in that bottle dancing around all the while. When you break it out, you break out the CO2, it dances around the glass, forms the head, and then it calms down in the glass, unless there's any nucleation points on the glass, i.e. fingerprints, grease, things like that. You could get like a nucleation point here on the side of the glass, which would cause the, the bubbles to, to, to form on the side of the glass. That's what that is doing. It's making the bubbles form, group together, but but it's it's not a dirty thing. It's, it's, so they release and they go up. But I'd just prefer- This is a, this for me, is looking like a nice, clean, crisp lager, isn't it? It looks really nice. It looks really, really sort of sunshiny golden. That looks really nice. Um, obviously, all them blooming bubbles rising up in there is, uh, you know, it looks very pretty, but it's uh, affecting that beautiful, clear, um, still loveliness of the beer. But that looks very, very nice. It really does look nice. Um, it smells very crisp and clean. Now, I'm not sure what this is going to be like because even though the Oktoberfest Spartan was Spartan was was good, um, all the rest were better in my opinion. But yeah, I get the feeling this is going to be a really nice, crisp, refreshing, standard sort of German lager. So let's see, because I'm not getting much aromas from it, other than that 
other than you put it under my nose, that's a lager. So let's see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Prost. Mmm. Now, do you know what? That's so strange because this is coming in at 5.2 ABV. 5.2. And do you know what? I'm not even sure whether I've put this out there yet. But I talked about this the other day. The alcohol free. Crikey, I'm like, I don't... That's tasting almost like an alcohol-free beer. Wow, I'm... Crikey, I'm quite overwhelmed by that. Because that's 5.2% ABV. Blimey. It's got a little bit of sweet... Sweet malt in there, but that that yeah that is lacking that is that is lacking in body and that is lacking in flavour for me. That is a refreshing, that is a crisp refreshing lager, but, but it's no more refreshing than that. The isotonic drink. 0.5% and it's very very gassy that is as well crikey but I mean you know you're talking this is a German lager it is just give me a couple of seconds I'm just going to check this out read the bottle I don't want to waffle on about this I want to just check this out and I'll be straight back so I just wanted to check that it's a genuine German lager which it is I mean I I sort of knew that, but I want, I just wanted to check. But it's basically just just a a light lager, which it is really. It's I can't even remember where I got this from. To be quite honest with you, um, it might have been was it maybe one of Audi's four? I'm not hundred percent sure. But I sort of knew that from having the Oktoberfest um, Spartan, Spartan that I, I did think, mm, how's it going to be? So for me, it's just, there's no real nose on it. There's nothing really. You can, if you really delve into it after a sit, you really, you can get a little bit of, a little bit of breadiness in there, but it is, it's, a, it's refreshing, crikey, yeah, you can, I'll be honest with you, it's really easy to drink, but it feels more, where I've talked about the soft carbonation from the, the natural carbonation from the yeast, this feels a little bit forced carbonation, and also in looking at this teeny little writing on here, it's got a hop extract, so, you know, I don't know, I don't know, it's like hop extract, why? Um, am, I being, am I being a bit fussy? Because um, the hops come in various ways, don't they? They come in the flour, in the pellet, in the extract. Um, you know, so there is, there is, there is a flavour in there, which is okay. There's a sweetness in there. Yeah, there is a slight sweetness in there, which is probably coming from some sort of some, the malt. But I may be being a little unfair on this because I've had some real quality lagers tonight. And I wouldn't say this is one of the best German lagers I've had. Um, and, the, and the thing is, it, it almost lends itself to um, bigging up this alcohol-free Erdinger a little bit. Because I always put alcohol-free beer in a category of like, it's just sweet beer. It's just sweet. 
it's it's like having like a sugar-free yogurt that's full of sweeteners and i'd rather have a natural sugar to taste the natural stuff so yeah you know it's it, it's just one of those so this is almost like ooh, like if you're driving tonight lee you, you've got the chance of having one of the spatten one of these and then nothing else or you could drink as much of this as you want i'd probably go for this because there's not really a lot of difference this has got a sweetness in it which is almost like them alcohol free beers shout at me and scream at me saying oh my god no spero that's one of my favoritest beers in the world may as that be but for me talking about it there is a lot better at there is a lot better to be had from um from german beers um so so yeah 5.2 abv yeah it's gonna give me a fuzzy head and uh you have a couple of these and you'll know you've had them but flavor wise it's just a little bit sweet it's a little bit of a nothing really it's refreshing and just refreshing and sweet there's nothing amazing that stands out so anyway, um, so there's no, no need for me to go on about this. But anyway, cheers, everybody. Thank you very much. Good night and take care.